The goal for me has always been for the tools I design to feel as natural and comfortable to the patient as possible. The art of using the tools is in the patient not having any idea that you're using tools on them until you tell them. Okay, the tool is right there along the spinous processes and by just putting a little of my body weight on her. Now, this is what's happening here. I'm keeping my fingers right on those spinous processes. So you can do that whole erector. Yeah, thumb right on the crest of her ilium here. So using the best friend tool with the round tip, I can get using, I, I put the tool against my tummy and I have the tool right into that. Uh, okay, so you can work through there. Then you can take the little tool and work right in between the spinous processes. You can, there's little muscles, there's little ligaments, little tendons. And you see I can go right in between the vertebrae. And you want to work through on some people each and every one of these little areas and work them through. Now I could go up one and I can feel right through the tool. There's the area right there. Now the really nice thing about this tool, one of the nice things is if you come across a muscle, because of the shape of the tool, it will just lift up and over and not catch on that tight muscle. I could use the rounded tip on the precious tool. That one is really becoming one of my favorite tools. I can do this whole lamina groove really precise. Right, right there I feel a little speed bump. And I can hear a, a little vocalization from my patient as well. So I'm using the T-bar tool and I'm using this flat edge and going along right along that root of the scapula. And again, if it was a big person and there was a very precise trigger point, I could use the that part of the T-bar and go right in, but no need for that on Kate. Now this part of the, this pointed area on the tool, I can slip right up against her root of the scapula. There's a little area deep underneath there where trigger points will hide and constantly reactivate. It will fit right in between the ribs beautifully. So you can palpate which direction they go and there you can see I'm right in there, but I will of course have both of my hands on her body so I have complete control of where that tip goes. You can use this on the side of the foot as well. You can use this all over this calcaneus. Now when we go over here along this side, sure there's a muscle that runs right along there. She's very tender right in that spot. So in an actual therapeutic setting I would press in and hold into the subscapular. You know how difficult that is on your thumb on most people. Uh, that's where the spoon bill tool comes in. It is just a dream come true. You can slide up underneath there just like that. You can bury it. You can see her scapula nicely here. That's why I chose her for this demonstration. And you can see that I can slide that right up underneath there. And now my intention is to push up into there and also to put pressure uh, laterally and superior. So I could on some people even put my hand, that's why I made this handle longer. This way I can actually kind of use this as a fulcrum to put extra pressure into the underside of the shoulder and blade. Of course if somebody's very sore you may just sneak in there and stop and hold oh, so I could get at it. And I could work through this. Oh, there we found a sore spot. So we actually are getting into something in this position that we couldn't get the other way. Many of the areas where I originally designed the thumb tool to use, I'm using the L bars or the T bars. I find they're more comfortable. This one, you're pretty much restricted to, to this tool. Now, again, if you recall, I said that we could use other tools when she was face down and get in there. So you're kind of just getting the final part of it. Now, this finger is feeling the spinous processes, and this one's sensing the transverse processes. 
so I can keep the tool right in the right in the valley. You can work through like that. Your fingers will feel like they're on vacation while you do the best work you've ever done. Thank you for visiting the Career Extenders website.